not right what ha what she did and what happened for so many people to get affected. It's insane. You, you didn't love Amber. You didn't like her, did you? Any close relationship has ebbs and flows. How many times have we seen spouses turn into eternal enemies? But observing the relationship of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard unraveling as it has is a huge shock to their devoted fans. As the trial progresses, each day brings new findings to the forefront. Seldom have court cases been so happening as has the catfight between the two ex-spouses. In a shocking turn of events, Amber Heard's assistant switched sides to protect Johnny Depp and termed her allegations false. Are you scratching your head and thinking about what we are on about here? You don't need to worry because we will give you a background of the nail-biting trial in Virginia. Hearing me speak for two minutes, you wouldn't have thought that Johnny Depp and Amber Heard were once lovebirds who were perceived inseparable. Wondering what followed afterwards? Both the celebrities got married in 2015 when it seemed it was a fairy tale that had happily ever after written all over it. Who would have imagined the sequences to follow? The two could only survive for 15 months together without introducing a controversy. In 2016, Amber appeared in public with a facial bruise. How could we have deciphered that it was an injury incurred during a fight between the spouses? After all, we were all too familiar with the unique love for makeup that Amber had. However, she pinpointed Johnny for demand in court. Things began to get ugly and there seemed no way back. There was divided support for both the celebrities. Vanessa Paradis came forward to support Johnny Depp. However, both of them agreed to solve the matters themselves and the case was withdrawn. A divorce settlement was reached between the two. Everybody thought that what could have been an ugly fight surfacing countless controversies ended in a dignified exit. But who were we to know? The battle resurfaced in 2018 when Johnny Depp sued The Sun for calling him a white without evidence. Although a case aimed toward The Sun, it seemed more like an indirect fight between the two ex-spouses. Who fights like this? We are wondering whether we would hate our ex even after two years of our divorce. Coming back to the ferocious battle that had captivated countless eyeballs, the battle ended against Johnny Depp. We were again forced into thinking that this was the end of the fiasco and a sad period for newspapers and media houses who had just lost their skyrocketing ratings due to a judge who was so hurried to give the judgment. How many would have sworn on the judge, we wonder? However, we were again proven wrong. It was a habit till then, and it didn't hurt. After all, we were all having another nail-biting encounter. After all, who could add more dramatics to it than A-list actors? Whatever, the third go at each other was due to an article published by Amber Heard in the Washington Post. What could the article have that went to the court? No guys, you got it wrong. It wasn't the umpteenth version of WikiLeaks. In fact, it didn't even name Johnny Depp. So how did he take it to court? I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out, she wrote. I had the rare vantage point of seeing in real time how institutions protect men accused of Take out your microscope. No, can't see it? Magnify it 1,000 times. Still can't see it? Well, how can you see it when there's nothing in it? So basically, Johnny sued Amber with defamation for a mere three lines in which he wasn't even mentioned. Does it remind you of some old sayings? Well, let's not get into that. The op-ed's clear implication that Mr. Depp is a domestic abuser is categorically and demonstrably false, the star's lawyer wrote in the complaint. Her allegations are part of an elaborate hoax to generate positive publicity for Ms. Heard and advance her career. The case is still running in Virginia. Virginia is chosen by Johnny Depp and his counsel for the running of the case as it holds two Washington Post offices. It is not uncommon for a plaintiff to choose the forum, said Mr. Baker, who is an experienced attorney general, having appeared in numerous defamation cases as the counsel. He further remarked, but it doesn't explain why they chose Virginia over California. Well, Mr. Baker, we contradict you here. How can you expect sanity in a theatrical melodrama? So this was the background for all our fellows who were unaware of the whole saga. Now the case is under the running and new things unfold every day. There are new findings on each day of the trial and all boggle the mind. Recently, the assistant of Amber Heard changed sides and flipped like a bottle in the favor of Johnny Depp. She called the allegations of Amber Heard baseless. He screamed at me once in person, multiple times screaming at me over the phone, barrages of abusive uh, text messages, Ouch, we know it hurts, but why did she do it? That's the question on the minds of millions. And why did she stay quiet for so long if she knew it all along? It makes for a nice brain twister. The emergence of Kate James on the scene has given a new shape to the case. While Amber Heard was in the driver's seat and was sailing away, the video message of Kate James has just put the brakes on her Mercedes. 
It's like staying at zero kilometers per hour when you can steam away at 160 kilometers per hour. Kate James has made mind-boggling allegations. The information contains what we had never dreamt of hearing about Amber. Kate James, beside the information about her false allegations, gave away important bits that tell a lot about the personality and moral values of Amber Heard. The statement of Kate James is just shocking. And I specifically remember standing in her office where she leapt up out of her chair, put her face approx approximately four inches from my face. She was spitting in my face and it's telling me how dare I ask for the salary I was asking for, which was in fact approximately half of my regular annual salary. Kate accused Amber of spitting on her face when she inquired about a pay raise. Ew, isn't it terrible? Well, we feel pukish as we think about it. We can't unthink it. Same with you? She alleged that she was being paid $25 an hour for doing countless tasks, in short, for serving as her PA. Also, Amber Heard is often seen boasting about her being a celebrity that stands up for women going through domestic abuse. This notion is torn apart by Kate's statement in which she holds no punches back and says that she never saw Amber being assaulted by Johnny Depp. In fact, she termed him as a gentleman of the highest order. Well, we don't know where it's heading, but the case with its new openings twists the mind more than before. Kate also claims that Amber Heard was a drug addict often found on alcohol or excessive drugs. Well, all of you who had a silent crush on her might be hearing a squeaky sound from the left side of your chest. We think it's enough indication for you fellows. However, Kate claims that Amber was the one who was smelling fights and found ways to indulge in arguments to initiate fights. But why would she do that has remained a mystery and would remain so until she sheds light on it herself. It doesn't stop here though, as nothing has in this whole fiasco. You must be wondering about the climax and end of the story, but we promise you that it is a distinct experience with numerous climaxes. Kate goes on to accuse Amber of her disappointing behavior toward her mother and sister. Kate says, her poor sister was treated like a dog but you kicked, basically. On a serious note, these are serious allegations that require a comprehensive justification and response. Johnny Depp testified in court and went on to say, never did I myself reach the point of striking Ms. Heard in any way, nor have I ever struck any woman in my life. He also said, in the beginning of my relationship with Ms. Heard, it was, from what I recall and what I remember, she was too good to be true. He further added, she was attentive, loving, she was smart, she was kind, she was funny, she was understanding. Shocked at the transformation of Amber, he said, within a year or year and a half, she had become another person almost. Their therapist, Anderson, also spoke on this matter and painted a clear picture of the type of relationship they were in. However, unlike Kate James, she didn't blame Amber Heard solely, but also held Johnny Depp responsible. She had been well controlled, I think, for almost 20, 30 years. And then with Ms. Ms. Heard, he was triggered. She concurred that they were involved in a mutually abusive relationship, both physically and emotionally. She also revealed that Depp had stepped on drugs during his mother's stay in the hospital. It led to fights between the couple as he spoke incoherently. Heard also accused Depp of telling her that she was getting fame because of him. Moreover, the therapist tells that both were in love with each other, but it was probably toxic love. While filing for divorce, they wanted to stay together. So the Johnny Depp Amber Heard case takes new turns and twists in every trial in which new information surfaces. The change of sides by Heard's former assistant is a crucial development in the case and is capable of changing the direction of the proceedings. Now, a witness and friend of Amber Heard and Johnny Depp has also testified, and he has turned against Amber Heard. Click here for the story.